see really uh, what is being done in terms of reaching our city uh, you know, with, with a positive message. We realize that most people in Montreal really don't like church. They like God, they don't like church. And how do I know this? Because the first thing that I've learned when I arrived here uh, six years ago, coming from Ontario, was that all the swear words in French are religious terms. <laughs> okay? So, so that's the reality. So, so when a, re a religious term is used, people blush and go, oh. And, uh, and uh, to me, it never made sense because I wasn't raised here. So I had to understand the culture. So my understanding is that people are not anti-God, they're anti-organized religion or church or everything that has to do with church. So, let's see how, here we go. So, passion, the mission is to reach the lost wherever they are. So this is what we want to do. And who are the lost? The lost are people that have no hope. You know, they can, they can have a good position in society, they're, you know, they're politicians, they're professionals. And uh, what we see today, uh, and uh, uh, as, as a group of individuals here, we like to help the poor, and that will be also one of the, the things we will do. But there's people that are lost, you know, everywhere. And lost, it's kind of a, a religious word. So uh, we like to use uh, Lost, the TV series, as, uh, <laughs> as the lost, okay? <laughs> So, uh, so we have it on the on the website too. Now, um, so so we th this is the birth of passion, and and, uh, and after I present this, we're going just to dedicate passion to God, to God's glory. This is not about a a, a one man show, you know, a, a pastors or people. No, this is about a group of individuals that um, want to reach communities in a different approach, in a different way. So, so we we expect to promote a different. Uh, uh, events that will attract people, you know, to, to hear a more positive message without trying to proselytize people. So that this is the idea uh, uh, around passion. So if you've been to church and um, and you didn't enjoy because you, you didn't feel that like you fit in. Yeah, I, I remember when when I started going to church. My my, my church was um, uh, about well the size of this this uh, group that is here, but the, everybody was old. When I when I say old, really old, and I was 24, and everybody was above 75, so they were really, you know, for a 24 year old, they were really old. But I knew it was the place where I should be, so so I I, I, I kind of changed the setting and started a you know a coffee house to do a, a rehab, and uh, we started to do crazy things there. Well, eventually the church uh, ended up closing, and now it's a Team Challenge coffee house. <laughs> we, uh, very well located, but um, but uh, you see, when we arrive to a place we and we don't fit in, uh, the obvious uh, thing we do we we don't return or. We go once in a while. So we like passion to be a place where people feel that they fit. And uh, at first, you know, we have people here from many uh, different um, backgrounds and uh, even races, nationalities, all sorts of uh, things going on. So we want to be really multi-cultural, uh, multi-age, all these things, but providing the venues where people uh, feel that they, they like it, they fit. So. Um, so it's a gathering of Christians. There's no dress code, so I'll try to bring my jeans to the, and the, you know, shirt. So some events. Let's say we're going to, to do an event uh, in a nice hotel, and now it's a cocktail. You know, I, I might bring the tuxedo, but but not on a regular basis. We want to be relaxed. Also, uh, today it's the first day. We want to provide a room for the kids. So next week. We're going to, uh, to see how many kids we'll have in a, a, at least a smaller room, and we're going to provide some, something for the kids. All right, so, um, so, so this is not for perfect people. If you're perfect, I'm sorry, <laughs> you will not fit in. So this is for people who have questions and, and doubts. And so it will be a, a safe place. So, so if per, a person has a, a, a question, for instance, you know, I believe in reincarnation. And uh, I, you know, bef before uh, I was a man, I was a woman in another life, or stuff like this. People can have these questions without being, you know, targeted. And so we'll allow people to, uh, to talk about their doubts and their beliefs and try to come to an understanding of what God's plan is for their lives. Okay, so we're not going to wash 
down the, the gospel notes, the message of the gospel. We, uh, but but it will be a safe place, you know. So if someone has a question, we're not going to laugh or to. You know, we're going to accept people for who they are. All right. So, uh, so and as I told you, we'll have uh, two two components in meetings, preaching, and for forum. The forum what was actually the format of the first church. And when we when we read the, you know the book of Acts and the, the epistles, they had the forum. This is what Jesus did also. He had the form. He taught to people. People ha have questions that there was time for questions and answers. And today what we see, especially the mega church, is uh, someone in a platform preaches down to the people. And, you know, people are blessed. It's okay. Uh, but sometimes there's no value for questions unless there are small groups or something that those uh, churches do. We want to be able to, to have, uh, you know, a different setting. So we, we like this setting. And the... Uh, and uh, we're going to have Louise that's going to share a, a few things about, about vision uh, soon. So let me move fast so we, we don't uh, spend too much time here. But there's three or four main areas of uh, how we, we want to do passion. Passion is like an umbrella uh, ministry where we expect people that have a call for the Lord you know, to develop their ministries. Um, uh, example, we have here Aure Aurelia Wen. Can you wait? All right. So what they do, I would call freedom ministries, because they're pretty much into bringing freedom to people, either through deliverance, healing. You know, that, that's their heart. And uh, and I know you 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 love the presence of God and, and seeing the manifestation of God. But so we'll have a venue for for those kind of meetings. Amen. Business people, we want to reach out into business people. And uh, and uh, and this is a very important component of what we want to do. So we're going to provide. Uh, excellent training with excellent teachers at the level of John Maxwell, people that really are well known in the world, but they're Christians, and we're going to provide, you know, training for professionals, and that that's why it's so important to be in a classroom setting, and and we'll talk about this later. So, passion for God, it, it's mainly three things. We can add more, but it's present worship, prayer, and services. So today it's not a service, all right, <laughs> but we'll have services. So we're going to pr provide also, you know, evangelistic crusades, all sorts of different things with different flavors. Now, passion for God, passion for souls, to be, you know, crusades, food bank. We we we're going to soon to restart the food bank here in Greenfield Park. So uh, uh, we have a, a, a building that uh, a business uh, person facilitated, so we can do a, a food bank. Uh, then coaching and mentoring social activities. Now in the coaching and mentoring, again, it's professional development, rehabilitation, we want to help people with uh, drug addictions and alcohol addictions and uh, gambling addictions. So this will be under the passion for souls. Then you see the third component, it's passion for the word. And here we, we want to have a school of ministry to train people. And this is connected, you know, with forming the new leaders. And uh, also Bible studies. Bible studies will be, you know, just a small group Bible study or people that want to learn more about the Word of God. So this will be one of the components. So passion for God, passion for souls, and passion for the Word. Another component is going to be passion international. And international has to do with missions, uh, work we want to do, you know, outside of Canada, and uh, also inside Canada to areas that are not as well developed. Uh, one of the areas we want to work with, we, we already work is with uh, First Nations, so we want to be able to continue to develop a strong work, uh, work with First Nations. And disaster relief, this is a project that we would like to have, you know, whenever there's a, 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 you know, something unexpected. Today there was a strong earthquake in BC, yeah, exactly. and in Hawaii they were expecting at 4 a.m. to be hit by a tsunami, and uh, so it was a 7.7. .7. Nothing happened. But, uh, but uh, you know, let's say there's a disaster. I'd like to, uh, to have a team prepared with funds and with, uh, uh, you know, a vision to help uh, in disaster relief. You know, when the uh, earthquake happened in Haiti, a number of churches from the U.S. sent teams of two, three people, and they were doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. Like I, I've, I've seen, I, I watched on CNN a, a group of two people that were doing funerals in a remote area of Haiti and nobody cared for them, but there were, there were those two crazy Americans <laughs> doing funerals right there. Yeah. This. I'm going to ask uh, Luis to, to come and uh, just uh, hook up the, the computer. And while he comes, I'd like to do something very important. It, we want to dedicate uh, 
passion ministries to, to, to God. Lord, you want to give new beginnings to many of us, yes. and especially to the city of Montreal. Yes. And I pray in Jesus' name, Lord, thanking you for uh, the day it, that you saved us. And Lord, in our journey with you, we did so many things and we went to different places. And Lord, we, did, uh, we served you the best we can. But we know there's a season now to reach this city in a different way. And Lord, you said, I will build my church. And we've seen so many people building churches and buildings and so many things. When we understand that the church is not a building, when we understand, Lord, that we're not here, Lord, to, uh, to, to build organizations, but truly, Lord, to reach out into people, reach them with your love. We also believe that you have a supernatural uh, uh, anointing to come over this ministry in a non-religious way that will reach into the city. People will be astonished with the, with the, the wonders that you're about to do. And, and God, we want to give you glory. We dedicate Passion Ministries to you, God. Yes, God. And every single person that is yes. here, Lord, the ones that you're going to bring, we, we, we present them to you. And yes. we pray, God, that you'll uh, continue to enlarge our territory, give us vision, and show us exactly how to build your kingdom and establish your kingdom and the government of God over the city of Montreal. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.